This is Mike. Mike is just like you and me. He's a college student at Cal State University, Northridge. Mike is a well-mannered man, raised with strong beliefs, and can be described as the nice guy. While getting ready for school, Mike is unaware that today will be a day filled with lots of ladders. Ladders of inference, that is. The ladder of inference can be described as a thinking process that we go through, usually without realizing it, to get from a fact to a decision or action. Today we will follow Mike through a normal day of college and watch how his mind will go through the steps of the ladder of inference. Starting from select data, to assumptions, to conclusions, to beliefs, and then finally, to the action. We will be able to observe the different stages of the ladder of inference that are going on in Mike's head while he interacts in different scenarios throughout his day. It is important to remember that the ladder of inference is something that everyone uses, and while Mike has his own ladder of inference, the people he interacts with may be using their own ladder to come to a different conclusion and action. What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, take a look at that son. He's in such a rush that he hurt someone by passing him out of the way, he just pushed him. And he dropped his wallet too. I'm gonna have to take a look at this information real fast. Looks good to me. What can I assume about this? <laughs> Giddy. That guy must be me. Then again, he must need his wallet back. Hmm. Even though he seems mean, we should give him his wallet back. Is that really what I believe? Okay. Let's see what we can do. All right, so I dropped his wallet. Should we give it back? I don't know. Let's see if we can find anything here. Let's see, I don't care what you think about me. No, it's a little bit much. Uh, attitude, nothing to do with it. Do good. I think we might find something better. Ah, uh, this one. Do the right thing. All right. Okay, well, I guess we just have to give the wallet back. Would have been a nice free call. Alright, it's time to action. I'm gonna give him his wallet back. Oh, excuse me, sir, you dropped your wallet. Oh, man, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd like to pay my bills with this. Thanks, man. Oh, you're welcome. Have a nice day. You too, man. Thanks. After witnessing Mike's encounter at Starbucks, it is interesting to note how Mike came to his action to give the wallet back. Meanwhile, the guy who was in a rush had his own ladder of inference going on. Now we join Mike as he walks up the stairs to the Oviet Library. Mike has a very important test for his accounting class today and is planning on cramming as much as he can before this test and is hoping that the coffee he just had will somehow help him. Mike feels unconfident in what the possible outcome may be and his result has already made up preconceived notions of failure. At the same time, Mike is a firm believer in doing things fairly and not cheating, no matter what the consequences may be. As Mike ascends this physical escalator, he unknowingly will be rising yet again onto his own ladder of inference.
Mike's friend Billy has the same professor for the accounting course, but his class time is an hour and a half before him. Billy is good friends with Mike and will do anything to help his friend out. Billy knows Mike didn't study for his test and takes it upon himself to take pictures of the exam answers and text it to Mike. Now we will watch and see what Mike decides to do with this text from his friend. His beliefs and values will be questioned as he makes his final decision. Oh wow, what should I do with these texts? Uh, I knew I should have gone Amazon Prime. My encyclopedia said would have come in by now. Hmm. Oh, it seems we have received a message from our friend Billy saying that he has the answers to the test. Hmm, according to my calculations, we did not study enough hours to do well on this one. Well, this presents an advantage. Time to let him know. cheating, so we have a chance to cheat as well. And if we do cheat, if we get caught, we can fail. But if we don't, then we might pass. Cheating on a test isn't worth the risk of buying a test. Verified belief. But anyways, okay, let's let's get back to this. All right, and then oh, this, is, this one's tough. Look at the book from this one. All right, so care what you think. No, probably won't. People care if I'm a cheater. Uh, this one. Like Papa always told me, cheaters never prosper. Cheaters never prosper! Alright, I'm not gonna cheat on this test. Huzzah! Mike has chosen the righteous path on this one and has decided not to cheat on this test. It appears as though his beliefs and his preconceived notions of honor and dignity have made him not cheat, despite the fact that he's going to fail entirely. Feeling frustrated after taking his accounting exam, Mike is now leaving Juniper Hall and heading home. We will now encounter something that will challenge and turn around his point of view entirely. Oh, what's going on here? It appears as though, oh, oh, it appears as though this person is attempting to remove the bike off the rack, but he's swearing so much. He's also wearing a very strange hoodie. Well, I'm just gonna say what I saw and just let them do with that. What can I assume with this information? Nah. 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 Oh yeah. He's stealing the bike. He looks shady. And by the way, he's looking around, it makes it seem like he's committing a crime. What does all this mean? He's a criminal who needs to be stopped. We should confront him. Stealing is wrong. Ah, it's 
going to be hard. No, no. 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 Oh, I know what it looks like. Back of the book, just like college. Ah, here it is. <sighs> Alright, you know what? There's a piece of my mind. I'll take this action for myself. I'm gonna do something about this. Hey, stop! Oh, hey, Mike. Oh, Billy. What are you doing? What are you doing? My key won't work. I'm trying to get my skateboard out and I, I'm having a hard time. Oh, dude, I thought you were trying to steal the skateboard. Do you need help with your lock? Oh, man, that'd be great if you don't mind. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, thanks, Mike. No Appreciate problem, Billy. Really. Have a good day, man. Mike is relieved to find that the perceived criminal was none other than his friend, Billy. Mike departs from the campus happily and oblivious to the eternal climb on the ladder of inference.